I'm Alexis Newbert of Alexis Design, and I'm going to go over how to make some concert tickets. Now, one of the most basic ways to make a ticket of any type is to create a standard size document like 8.5 by 11, which I've done here using Adobe InDesign. I've chosen to do a landscape orientation just because of the shape that I want my tickets to have. And then just figure out a way, using a calculator or using your eye, how to split your sheet up into, you know, several even sections. For this example, I'm going to do tickets that are five and a half inches in width. So I've drawn a guide to the center of my page at five and a half inches. And then I'm going to make them two inches high. So I've gone and made guides at two, four, six, and eight. So that's where I'll be putting my information. And I really just need to use one box so I can zoom in. can create a text box using the type tool here on the side. Create a box and for tickets you usually want the name of the event, the date, the location to be and the time to be your largest and clearest pieces of information because people are going to want to get the tickets look at them at a glance and get that pertinent information that they want to see. So we'll pick a nice big bold font like Arial Black. You can choose that up here on your top type palette and pick a reasonable size. It doesn't have to be terribly large. It is something that people will hold in their hand and look at. And we'll just call it the big show. Whoops. Maybe that could be a little bit bigger. And then underneath, maybe in a slightly smaller type, we could put the date. Maybe you want to have your text centered. You could have it left aligned. A nice little trick I like to use for concert tickets is to take any additional information, create a nice reverse box, either in black or any other solid color. It depends on whether you're doing these tickets with black ink or with colored ink. And then create another smaller text box, and let's say you're going to put ticket information on here. This little box could also double as a stub if you need a section for somebody to tear off. So you could repeat this information smaller. Or for this one, that's not going to require a stub. We'll just put in the ticket prices. Choose our font again and the font size. Maybe we'll put that in all caps. We'll use white text on top of black, and then we just need to rotate our text box, and you can find the rotate tools also in the top palette, or you can use the rotate tool from the left toolbar and just grab one of the corners of your box, but this is an easy way to do it. Maybe adjust the size, and maybe you even have room for a little graphic or something to put on the side. And then when you're done, you can see that it's easy to just drag using your rectangle tool, one empty rectangle over it, select everything, use Command or Control G, or in the object palette you can select Group. That links all of these items together so that you can easily copy and paste as many times as you need to on your setup sheet to fit into the spaces that you've designated. And then you have a cost-effective way to make your concert tickets. You can send them to your copy shop or you can print them on your own printer and just trim them out along these lines. And that's an easy way to make concert tickets.